A ver, a ver, ¿qué voy a ver en Netflix hoy? I've watched The Last Dance like 10 times already. It's cool, but I don't really know if watching Michael Jordan again for the 11th time is really going to do me any good. I should watch something in Spanish. Hola chicos, I'm Sean, brand ambassador with Spanish 55, and in this video I'm going to give you five shows that you can watch on Netflix or other streaming services to improve your Spanish. Now I'm not someone who really likes to binge watch TV shows, but let's face it, binge watching can be pretty useful when you're trying to learn a second language. And over the last 10 years I've watched quite a few TV shows in Spanish. I've got five of them here that either I've watched or I've heard a lot of great things about and I know that they can be very useful for your Spanish. So let's roll out the red carpet and get ready for the drama because we know that all of these TV shows in Spanish, these novelas as they call them, have a lot of drama. Número 5, Surviving Escobar, alias JJ. So this one's about a guy named JJ, or John Jairo, JJ, who was one of Pablo Escobar's hitmen back in the day. And he's like a total badass, of course. And as you can guess, this one is kind of like Narcos in a lot of ways. Algunos me conocen como Popeye. Otros como alias JJ. Llámenme como quieran. Lo que importa es que vi el lugar teniente de Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Su mano derecha. Anyway, it has all the elements of a typical narcos, drugs, novella. John Jairo goes to prison, he's kept in there, but there's a romantic element to the story because, of course, there's this woman on the outside who's trying to see him. You know, there's always a girl involved, even if there really doesn't have to be. They just kind of do that for the plot. Check that one out on Netflix. Numero cuatro, La Casa de las Flores, The House of Flowers. So if you like Mexican telenovelas, Manolo Caro's dark comedy is right up your alley. You're going to love it. Esta es mi casa. La florería es el pilar de la familia. La gente dice que somos la familia perfecta. Y eso es lo que van a decir. So the series follows an upper middle class Mexican family that owns La Casa de las Flores, a famous and successful flower shop, right? So the matriarch of the family, as they call her, tries to cover up everything and maintain the family's perfect reputation after the mistress of the husband, dun dun dun, there's always a mistress of the husband, the mistress of the husband starts revealing the family's dirty secrets. Papa? Papa? Este cabaret es mío. So there's a lot of drama, there's also a lot of funny moments, and it's a great pick to work on your Spanish because Cecilia Suarez's character really speaks very slowly, muy muy despacio todo el tiempo, and says a lot of funny lines too, so you'll be able to understand a lot and pick up some new things as you go along. Numero tres, Sky Rojo. So this one is actually from the creators of Money Heist, which by the way is another great show. And it's an action-packed thriller comedy that's got a lot of drama and a lot of cool scenes. There's also a lot of dark humor in this one and just a lot of adrenaline-filled moments as well. So anyway, you got these three ladies, Coral, Wendy, and Gina. And they're on the run trying to get their freedom. Vamos a tener una nueva vida. Yo solo te lo voy a preguntar una vez más. ¿Dónde están? ¿Qué queremos hacer? But the girls are being chased by Moises and Cristian, two hitmen who work for Romeo, or Romeo. The owner, he's basically a pimp, but he's the owner of Club Las Novias. So anyway, it's not exactly a PG show as you can imagine, but you get to hear a lot of accents because the three ladies are from Argentina, Cuba, and España. So you've got like the whole triangle of the farthest apart geographic locations and accents, if you know what I mean. Low key, they probably hate each other off the set because they're different nationalities. I don't know, I'm just guessing, right? Numero dos, Luis Miguel, La Serie. So this is a super popular show right now on Telemundo and Netflix. It dramatizes the life story of Luis Miguel, Mexico's ever so popular singer who captivated audiences for decades throughout all of Latin America. I could try to sing some Luis Miguel right now, but I'm not going to do that because if I tried to do that, then every last one of you would unsubscribe from our channel and we don't want that. Que necesitamos dinero, y rápido. De aquí sale, eh? Y aquí coge forma. Toma, es para la buena suerte. Es para que te acuerdes de quién eres. Muchas gracias. Me has explotado. Antes la puta madre, ¿me oyes? Salte de mi vida. Now, before
before I move on to the number one show, I've got a pro tip, or actually two pro tips that I want to give you while you're watching these. So, number one is use of subtitles. If you're at least kind of an intermediate or more advanced Spanish speaker, I recommend that you watch with the subtitles in Spanish. Why? Because you can read. I know you have a very high level of reading ability in Spanish, right? So a lot of times when they're speaking really fast or they're using some slang words, you may not understand everything that you hear, but you will understand basically everything that you see written down underneath in the subtitles when they're in Spanish. You can also, by doing this, sort of start to pick up on words. Oh, that's how that word is pronounced. Now that I see it written, I hear it spoken at the same time. It helps you to understand a little bit better and improve your listening skills when you have those subtitles in Spanish. Now, if you're someone who's at more of a beginner level, I recommend you put the subtitles in English just because your reading level in Spanish also isn't quite good enough for you to understand that much of what's written if the subtitles were in Spanish. This will help you just to learn a lot more of the basic words that you're going to be hearing over and over. So, subtitles in English if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate or above, subtitles in Spanish. Second pro tip is if you're watching these shows by yourself, every time you learn a new word or phrase, Take a quick pause, pause the video, and practice using that new word or phrase out loud in Spanish in some complete sentences. If you are actually speaking to someone, having a dialogue, putting it in a relevant context, that way your brain remembers the new word faster. Anyway, back to the countdown. Numero uno, la reina del sur the queen of the south and i think there's actually there is an english version of this that's called the queen of the south but it's basically kind of a different show entirely and especially if you want to improve your spanish don't watch that one watch the spanish one it's bomb it's phenomenal so la reina del sur features kate del castillo she is la reina del sur or the queen of the south in the show she's the one that's super famous she met with sean penn and el chapo did a documentary on it she's a big deal for a lot of reasons so in this show she's playing teresa mendoza who becomes the leader of a powerful drug cartel. Now she's the good guy or good gal, right? But just working me on this. So she becomes the leader of this powerful drug cartel while at the same time trying to figure out who kidnapped her daughter. And then, okay, so I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You get the point. Yo no soy una mujer como cualquier otra. Mi único pecado fue amar al hombre equivocado. Yo pensé que ese maldito teléfono jamás sonaría. Y sonó. Teresa, si este teléfono suena es porque ya me habrán matado. ¡Entonces corre! La suerte marcó mi destino. ¿Quién se iba a imaginar que iba a terminar siendo la reina del narcotráfico? Porque dicen que el valiente vive hasta que el cobarde quiere. Y esos desgraciados tuvieron su merecido. Te lo juro, Teresa, no fui yo quien te traicionó. Anyway, check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, it takes place mostly in Mexico, but also they go to some other countries as well. There's a lot of people from a lot of different countries with, you know, different Spanish accents. You've got Spain. I can't even remember where else. But it kind of takes you all over the place a little bit. Super entertaining. Definitely check it out. You're going to love it. Y bueno chicos, eso es todo por el video de hoy. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below if you've seen any of these shows, if there's any other Spanish language shows that you've seen and you want to talk about. If you haven't seen these yet, check them out. Get back to us with what you thought. And remember to check out Spanish55.com to find the best one-on-one -on -one Skype Spanish tutor for you. Hasta pronto. I knew it. I knew Hector was having an affair with Carolina. I could have told you, Isabella. I could have told you you can never trust a man with that haircut. It doesn't matter what he says he does for a living.